Hi guys and welcome to a shorter video of mine because the story is quite short. But today, as you might have found out, there is another fairy tale video. And I let you guys vote on Instagram and this story quite polarized, which this topic mainly very often polarizes, so I understand. But I promise the story is not as horrible as you think. It's it leads you to think about life a little bit, but it's not too heavy. Trust me, I struggle with the topic too. But moving on, finally telling you the title is Godfather Death. And the title was the reason why I wanted to tell you guys the story. Because I was quite interested in what it's about. And maybe you are too, so let's start with the actual video. Once upon a time there was a poor man who already had 12 children when the 13th was born. Since he was at his wit's end and in such distress, he ran into the forest where he encountered our dear lord, who said to him, I feel sorry for you, my poor man. I shall stand sponsor to your child at the baptism and take care of him so that he'll live happily on this earth. Upon saying this, the Lord left him standing there and moved on. Soon thereafter, the poor man encountered Death, who likewise spoke to him and said, I want to be your godfather and stand sponsor to your child. If he has me as his friend, he will never be in need. I'll make him into a doctor. I'm satisfied with what you say, said the man. You don't make a difference between rich and poor when you fetch them. Tomorrow is Sunday. My son will be baptized. Just show up at the right time. The next morning Death came and held the child during the baptism. After the child had grown up, Death came once again and took his godson into the forest. Now you are to become a doctor and you only have to pay attention to what I say. When you are called to a sick person and you see me standing at his head, it is a sign I won't take him. Let him smell the vapors of this bottle and rub the self on his feet. Then he'll become well again. However, if I stand at his feet, then it's all over and I'll take him. Don't try to cure him. Upon saying this, he gave him this bottle. The man became a famous doctor. He only had to take a look at the sick person and he knew in advance whether the person would become well again or had to die. One time he was called to the king, who was lying in his bed because of a serious illness. When the doctor entered the room, he saw Death standing at the king's feet, and so the vapors of the bottle could not be any help for him. Nevertheless, he had an urge to achieve Death. So, he grabbed hold of the king and turned him around so that Death stood at his head. This chance succeeded and the king became well again. However, when the doctor returned home, Death came to him, gave him some fierce looks and said, If you dare trick me another time, I'll twist your head off. Soon thereafter, the king's beautiful daughter became sick and nobody in the world could help her. The king wept day and night. Finally, he announced that whomever cured her would have her as his reward and marry her. So the doctor came and saw Death standing at the feet of the princess. Since he was completely enchanted by her beauty, However, he forgot of Death's warnings, turned the princess around, let her smell the vapors of the bottle and rubbed the soles of her feet with the salve. No sooner did he return home than Death stood there with a horrible look on his face. Then he seized his godson and carried him to underground cave, where a thousand candles were burning. Take a look, Death said. These are the candles of the living. And this light over here that's only burning a little this is your life. Watch out. So that's the end of the very short story. As I said, it's pretty short. But it's pretty interesting too, isn't it? Especially for me, who wants to become a doctor. It's To me, it's kind of a reminder that basically we try to help humans and we do that with hopefully a great thing in mind but we can't trick death at the end you are not 
uh, God yourself and you can help, but you should not become too self-absorbed. Do you know what I mean? There are some doctors out there who think they know it all and they can do all and you know what I mean? And I think that's a lesson to learn from this story. But yeah, that's all for this week. I hope you had fun and I hope you like these stories. I, as you know, enjoy them pretty much and I have a lot more coming. So look out for them if you like them. And yeah, we will see each other in my next video. Bye!